One of the greatest things, and the fourth the last thing I wanted to tell you about is, is I'm learning, and, I, and I'm learning, and I have fallen in love with this principle. Turn down your head so that you can turn up your heart. I was living in San Francisco at the 600 block of Fell Street, and I was 20 years old, 21 years old, and I was on my way to Levi Strauss and Company where I was, uh, had my first corporate job. And as I walked down the sidewalk, this is a true story, as I walked down the sidewalk, there's a woman in, laying on the sidewalk. Many people have just passed her by, and when I get up to her, she looks up to me and she says, please call an ambulance, I'm pregnant. Now, I look down, and, and I cannot tell if she's pregnant, to be honest with you. She's not like a bulging pregnant, right? But she's on the sidewalk asking for help, and people have been walking past her. Now, this is before cell phones, to date myself. So I, I knock on doors. This is a very dangerous neighborhood. People don't want to open their doors. But this guy undoes two or three locks, opens his door. He's like 85 years old. And I ask to use his phone, and I tell him why. And he's skeptical, but he lets me use his phone. I dial 911, nine and then they say, uh, is she crowning? And I'm like, I, I don't know what we're talking about here. <laughs> so, so they dispatch an ambulance, but they dispatch it on low priority, I will later learn because I didn't know what crowning was. And they wanted donuts. So, <clears throat> so I walk back out, and, and I tell her, um, an ambulance is on its way. What's your name? And she says, Bobby. And I said, i got to get to work. I've been late so much, I can't be late again. And she said, while you were inside, my water broke. And I look down, and her pants are all now wet. And I'm like, she's I'm going to be late for work. So I sit down, and I'm going to wait for the ambulance with her. And Bobby starts having a contraction. Uh, what I will never forget is, on her first contraction, she reaches out for anything to grab on. She doesn't find anything to grab on, so she drags her fingernails across the concrete of Fell Street. So I know my first job is to let her squeeze my hand. So she's squeezing my hand. And then I start assessing the situation. I'm trying to think faster. And then I realize, like, she's wearing pants. Apparently, she is really pregnant. She can't be wearing pants. I'm going to take her pants off. <laughs> yeah, that's, I felt awkward. <laughs> Now, because I felt awkward, I started looking around, and there were people, I, I look back, at this point in time, there were probably four people that were standing about 12 feet back and not coming up to help. Think about that, okay? I could have used a lot of help. So I say, Bobby, I'm going to take off your pants now. And she didn't say anything, so I was like, well, that must mean yes. <laughs> so, but I'm going to leave her underwear on, okay? And so I take off her pants, and I'm like, oh, today you decided not to wear any underwear. <laughs> True story, okay? But I'm not going to look. That's her matters, right? So I avoid looking. And I stay at her side. And she has another contraction. And I'm holding one of her hands. But the other one is free. And to be honest with you, she takes it and she tries to hold the baby in on this contraction. And I don't know anything I'm doing. But I, but I think to myself, that you don't want to back up the baby. That's not good. <laughs> so in one of the first most awkward moments of my life, I'm like, OK, I've got to help and move into position. That's how it felt. So this is, this is awkward, but all I remember is like, OK, uh, and, I, and I did not want to look down, so I, I went like this. I was like, somebody driving by would have thought, like, down, sit. So I'm just putting my hands there. And then I realize, like, this is ridiculous. I have to look and see what's going on. And when I look, the first thing I think is, oh, that's crowning. OK? I'm like, that's crowning. So look, he gets really frantic. I start yelling. I'm like, breathe, push, breathe, push. There are now 12 to 15 people gathered, and nobody comes up. Even when I go, somebody, please, like, come up and help. Nobody will come up and help. So what happens next is Bobby pushes, and the baby's head pops out like a popping sound, which was very, I was like, whoa, baby head. <laughs> then. I look down, and it, I have this really horrible moment of confusion where I'm like, oh, man, because the baby looks like it's choking. And I'm like, oh, what do I do now? And I realized I had seen this on TV, which is what I was trying to go by. But on TV, it was the first time it dawned on me, like, actually, all they ever do is show the doctor working underneath a blanket. And I'm like, now I realize I don't know what they're doing under the blanket. <laughs> so I'm like, what are they doing? And I'm trying to make a guess. Am I supposed to pull the baby out? or not. So I, I think, I probably have to pull this baby out. So I go to touch the baby's head, and I promise you I'm going to pull a little. And right when I touch the baby's head, it was like a miracle, because I hear what sounds like a voice in my head that goes, you're just there to catch, dummy. I'm like, 
thank you. <laughs> Bobby pushes again, and this little baby just, just slides right out into my hand. Just right out into my hand. This is just amazing to me, amazing, until I look down and realize the baby is not breathing. Has not been breathing. Is a deep purple, like the color of your shirt. And in the worst moment of my life, suddenly I just, all at once, I become aware, like, what am I doing up here? All these people are back here to be safe. What am I doing here? And I shake the baby. And I shake the baby. And I shake the baby and I say, please, darling, please, please, please. And the baby suddenly just comes alive and starts screaming. Greatest moment of my life. I look down, I see it's a girl, and I'm like, Bobby, we have a baby girl. What will we name her? <laughs> and I delivered a, a baby on the sidewalk that day. Um, and I learned something really incredible, and I keep learning it over time. And it's that you really do have to turn down your head in order to turn up your heart.